Hello. Today I'm going to quickly show how to make a TARDIS. This is a bigger model that I made, and I made it out of bone core and mat board and some paper. And excuse me for my cat. And also had printed up from the computer the details. And this TARDIS has a cat door. Um, for my character Sam who's right here supervising but today I'm going to make a smaller version and I've got most of the things cut out um, I started with the doors but I'll show you how to do that in a moment it requires a lot of calculation in order to get these squares just right I also have cut out these pieces which will eventually become the piece that comes across where the police call box sign would be. I have cut out the walls, which will go behind, behind the doors, and also I have cut an opening for the windows. And I also have cut out the floor, which is square, and the roof which is square with a smaller square and even smaller square to go on top of that so we get that effect and later it will all be painted blue but I started some on the doors you have to do calculations you subtract what how much is going to be cut off for this part and then you measure how far of a distance this is from the bottom to the top and then you subtract or you divide it by four and subtract that by whatever this is and this is an eighth of an inch so this was three inches and a quarter divided by four which was eleven sixteenths I think and then I subtracted one eighth, so I would go, excuse me, my cat, I would go one eighth, and then the measurement, one eighth, the measurement, one eighth, the measurement, one eighth. Now, so you don't have to measure this continuously, you would just lay this down on the next piece and trace it. So you don't have to keep measuring and doing math. And so these are the little doors that I've cut out. So I'm going to continue to cut out. I've got two doors, two and a half doors left. So you take your X-Acto knife and cut that. So now we have completed on cutting out all of our doors. Let me throw away the scraps. So these are all of our doors, which will be glued on, since this is a smaller version of this version that be glued on to the front and eventually a window will be put here and this will go like so on the foam board excuse me it goes this way and then you take another door and you glue it this way so it creates some depth into our door okay but in order for to create the windows to create extra depth, we have to cut out squares here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pieces, lay them there, and get a pencil and trace around this opening to cut them out. Okay, so I've gone through, and as you can see, I've traced the, the squares on where the the holes are going to go for the windows because this is paper all this is is just paper and I put a coat on it to kind of stiffen it so I'm going to go ahead and cut these holes Now, after you've cut out all your pieces, it's time to start assembling. Now, the easiest way to start to get your structure put together quickly and securely is to use a hot glue gun. Now, I use high temp. Low temp 
I don't trust it to keep a good bond. So I always use high temp. Um, so uh, if you're a klutz like me, you know, please be careful and not burn yourself because you do get second degree burns from these things. Also for the details, I use regular white glue. So white glue and a glue gun in order to put these pieces together. Now, I have my floor, but that gets added after I assemble the walls. So, the walls are going to be assembled like in a, uh, in a pattern where it goes outside, inside, outside, inside, all the way around. So, and make sure you keep, you will need to cut a hole into your floor so you can have access later to add the windows. Okay, I do not add the windows beforehand so I don't accidentally get blue paint on the windows. Now after you've glued your box, remember it goes inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, all the way around. So after you glue your main frame, I've already cut a hole into my floor. You're going to use hot glue, if it's not stuck, and you're going to glue your base onto there. And then we'll start adding our details right after that which will be these, our doors. We'll start adding our doors right after we add it onto the base. I've got most of this TARDIS ready. I've got the sides on. A little awkward, but that's okay. You know, every TARDIS can be different. I put the lid on, and for the light, I'm using a shell casing of a bullet. Uh, I have a lot of found objects that I keep around, and this is one of them. Um, I cut out a hole in the middle of this roof and stuck it in there and glued it so we have a signal light which will be painted later. So right now, in the process, this TARDIS will become blue. After assembling the TARDIS, I painted it blue. Um, I went ahead and just decided to do one coat um, for the blue because I like how the black foam board gives it kind of a depth and some, uh, some different colorations here. And the TARDIS has been through a lot, uh, traveling through space, so that's why I, I like these different tones of color of blues, showing that, you know, the TARDIS has been beaten up a little bit. Uh, in a minute, we're going to be doing the windows, I'm doing that with a piece of paper. You just have to measure how big it is, but uh, usually I do it one per window, but since this is such a small scale, I did uh, big enough to fit across both windows, so make sure you have your hole in the bottom. So when I put it in, we'll have our windows like that. And I'm going to draw some lines. Um, on the bigger models, I, I cut strips of black sheets of paper to do the, the frame for the windows, but since this, again, is so small, instead I'll be using uh, a, a black ink pen. Um, also, you need to go on the internet and find yourself your TARDIS signs. And I made, I've shrunk them to scale so they would fit correctly on here after I cut them out. So you need to make sure you have four of these, of course one of these, and not all TARDISes have this, uh, the St. John Ambulance, but the most recent TARDIS does. So this one is up to you. So we'll go ahead and get started and start making our windows and, and everything. Uh, for the top, 
I could just paint it white, but I'm just big on texture. So I've cut out a little strip of paper and I'll be decoupaging it on there like that. So we have our little white beacon. Okay, so that's what we will be doing. Decoupage, um, usually what I do is I take Elmer's glue and I add a little bit of water to thin it out. So when you brush it on, it, um, it doesn't, it's not as sticky. It goes on a little bit more smooth. And I keep it in a little Tupperware container so I can go back anytime to use decoupage. Now this is not used as a varnish. It's just used to apply these signs onto the box. Okay, to make the windows, I decided to go with this, this pattern. Um, doesn't look like much, maybe it looks like jail bars, but this will make um, doing the windows a, a lot easier. I went ahead and filled in black, so in case there's any overlap, it's just in shadow. So when you do glue, you're going to put glue around the sides, and then you're going to put it inside your TARDIS, align it up. And there you have windows. See? You could go further and do the three pattern, you know, just like the 11th Doctor's uh, windows are. But that's up to you. there you have it after you put on some coats of varnish onto your uh, TARDIS it is an official done TARDIS um, and since this one's a little one uh, you could rig it up to put a little tiny uh, set of battery lights in there and it could light up because we use paper for the windows just like my big TARDIS here I have a night light inside so the windows light up and because I used a cap, a clear cap on the top, the top lights up. On this TARDIS, however, this will not light up because I didn't do that. But you can do that on yours. So, um, that's the end of how to make a little TARDIS. So, happy making TARDISes. TARDI, whatever. <laughs>